Tom Homan joins us right now. Tom, uh, as we look at those images from the bridge down in Del Rio, Texas, you know, we hear from the administration and the, the stats from the, the government is that over a million people have been apprehended. And that makes it sound like they were stopped and then sent back. But of the million something, you know, l let's say uh, what proportion are actually sent back? Because if there are children or if there are women, uh, we've heard for the most part they get to come right on in. Yeah, you know the secretary. I, you know, I watched that news conference. I want to throw something at the TV. I don't know. I don't know what the color of the sky in his world is, but he cannot say two things. Number one, he's saying the Haitians would be deported. And when this first happened, about three quarters of them were released. It wasn't until they were called on it that they decided, okay, we got to deport some, but many are being released to ICE. And ICE will release them. I mean, if you look at the number of uh, detainees oh, yeah. ICE has been ordered to release of their non criminals, so it's a shell game. Maybe not. Maybe the Border Patrol is not releasing them anymore in, in the last couple of days, but they're being sent to ICE, and they'll be released from ICE. Another thing he said, it, it, when, when the reporter asked him, do you have operational control of the border, he said yes. They, they've lost operational control. When there's 350,000 gotaways, there's no operational control. When you surge resources at the RGV in the Del Rio, that, that leaves 224 miles of border unguarded. I've seen the assignment sheets. 224 miles of southern border were unguarded because they had to surge resources in these other areas. That's not operational security. When, Mex when the Haitians are moving back and forth to Mexico for supplies and freely coming into the illegal camp on U.S. property, that is not operational control. And finally, I'll say this. Talking to a senior uh, Border Patrol command official, he told me, Tom, we have lost control of the border. This is his terms. He said, broken arrow. We are overwhelmed. We can't handle the incoming. We, we, we are outmatched in this. We have lost operational control of this area. And that comes from the men and women wearing green on the border that's doing the job. What, are there, what specific stories does he say when he talks to these individuals? Look, there's, a lot of these people are coming across. The reason they're coming is because the, 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 the administration's actions mean more than words. He can sit up there all day long and say, don't come, you're going to be removed. Mm -hmm. But they have released hundreds of thousands of people into the country, many with COVID. The people see this. Once they get to their final destination, they call their relatives, they call their friends. The cartels are using numbers, how many people are being released. So the secretary can stay, say all he wants, don't come. But based on their actions and how many people have been released into the United States, they're going to keep coming. So just warning them not to come is not working. Their actions speak louder than the words. Tom, don't tell us don't come. If they want to get, actually get that message out, take out ads, radio, put it out to local governments, make them make the announcements to let these people know don't come. You know, he has a press conference. He's telling us that he doesn't want them to come. Is this a joke? It's absolutely a joke. And look, if you don't want them to come, then enforce the law. Detain people, remove people, stop releasing people. Do what the Trump administration did. That was operational control. You know how many Trump released, the Trump administration released during the surge? Zero. They released nobody. They detained them and they removed them. Remain in Mexico program, everybody went back. Under this, under this administration, families and unaccompanied children, no, they bypassed Title 42. Then they go to court, they argue, we need Title 42, and the judge laughs at them because, wait a minute, you're violating Title 42. Right. You're releasing most people into the United States despite Title 42 that had COVID. Now you can come here and argue that you need it. Again, their actions have failed the American people, and it's a joke. It's, it's, I've never seen anything like this in my life. If they well, didn't have the drones up in the air, if we didn't show those visuals, do you think this would have been happening now, even Mayorkas going down there? No. It, it, you know, thank God for this network. This network has pulled that scab off, and we got to keep on it. Now other networks are starting to cover it, but now they're pushing the, the whole theory that these people will be deported, which is simply not true. Especially if you have kids. Lawrence Jones was saying if you have children, you get to stay. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Tom. Right. Thank you, sir. Tom.